I'm a passionate defender of free speech. There's a massive clue in the name of this show, Uncensored. And I believe in it. I believe that all honestly held opinions, however offensive they are, belong in the open, where they can be challenged, debated and exposed. But there are limits on free speech. There are laws and there is a line. I've always said that Alex Jones is a perfect example of where that line got crossed. He's a conspiracy theorist and shock jock in America who made hundreds of millions of dollars by peddling outrageous lies that the Sandy Hook school massacre shooting was a hoax. For the uninitiated, this is him shouting at me a week after that massacre on CNN. The tyrants did it. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. Okay. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? He kind of won that debate, actually, because the only response in America to the Sandy Hook massacre was to do nothing. In fact, they continue to sell a lot more guns. A million new guns get sold in America every month. And there are already over 400 million in circulation. If you're wondering, if you're curious why there are so many more mass shootings in America than there used to be, that's why. And if you're wondering what's going to happen in the next few years as a million new guns enter circulation and nothing gets done to stop mass shootings, my guess is there'll be a lot more mass shootings. I've covered a lot of them especially when I was at CNN in America. Uh, very few of them, uh, in fact, none of them, actually, were as soul-crushing as Sandy Hook. 20 children, aged between six and seven, were murdered by a mass killer with a semi-automatic AR-15 rifle. Alex Jones's reaction to this absolute appalling atrocity was to tell his followers on his InfoWars show it was all a government hoax set up by the Obama administration, a deep state plot to justify new gun laws that would take away their guns. He said the grieving families were all crisis actors. Sandy Hook, it's got inside job written all over it. Sandy Hook is a synthetic, completely fake, with actors, in my view, manufactured. I couldn't believe it at first. People just instinctively know that there's a lot of fraud going on. Uh, but it took me about a year with Sandy Hook to come to grips with the fact that the whole thing was fake. Well, as a direct result of his lies, those grieving families were harassed and threatened with death by his followers. Uh, Erica Lafferty, daughter of the murder principal, Dawn Hoxsprung, got death and rape threats from people who said her mother was fictional. Robbie Parker, who lost his daughter, Emily, was chased down the street by a Jones supporter asking him how much he'd earned by lying about the death of his daughter. Mark Barden, father of seven-year-old victim Daniel Barden, says that one of Jones's followers urinated on his dead son's grave. Some of these families have successfully sued him now for defamation, which is explicitly not protected by America's First Amendment. Jones was ordered to pay record damages, more than a billion dollars in total. He's yet, of course, to pay a penny. He actually declared himself bankrupt to avoid doing so. Nevertheless, Elon Musk has inexplicably decided it's time to restore Alex Jones to X, formerly Twitter. I'm a big supporter, generally, of Elon Musk. I think the work he's doing to eradicate bias and protect free speech in the place where so many debates now originate is an important, very important one. But this was a profoundly disappointing and wrong decision. I'd like to remind Elon what he said about reinstating Alex Jones when he first took over. He said this said he wouldn't restore him and said, my firstborn child died in my arms. I felt his last heartbeat. I have no mercy for anyone who would use the deaths of children for gain, politics or fame. Well, that is precisely what Alex Jones did. He literally used dead children for gain, fame and politics. So what's changed in a year, Elon? Well, there's now a big movement to rehabilitate Alex Jones online. Many argue he's right more often than he's wrong when all the evidence points to the complete opposite. And in the case of Sandy Hook, it wasn't just one little mistake that he owned up to. Andrew Tate tweeted, Alex Jones is an effing hero. Really? He's not my kind of hero. He's the opposite of a hero. This is a man who repeatedly and deliberately lied about the mass shooting of children at school to enrich himself. He called it all as phony as a $3 bill. And yet that's what he is. 
Yes, he's now apologised, but he did that under legal duress because his business was about to go to the wall. This wasn't just something he blurted out once and instantly regretted. He did this for years. And every time he lied about Sandy Hook, he made more money. Night after night, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. And he knew what was going on to these families as a result of his harassment on air. To see him back on X, selling his book, his merchandise, his website, his info wars, frankly, makes me want to puke. Every opinion should be heard, but inciting harassment and violence to profit from unspeakable grief, to pour into the wounds of those families yet more misery and pain, that's not free speech. It's deliberate hate speech, and it's disgusting.